If you're asked to simplify the fraction, 11 thirds, here's how we can do that. So what we wanna do, we wanna find another fraction that's equivalent, it's equal to 11 over three, it's just that we've simplified it or reduced it to its lowest terms. So we're looking for the greatest common factor between 11 and three. It turns out that the greatest common factor, the number that goes into both 11 and three is one. So we divide 11 by one, we get 11. We divide three by one, we get three, that's 11 thirds. So that's what we had before. That means that 11 thirds, the fraction, it's already simplified. It's been reduced to its lowest terms. We could change this to a mixed number. Right now it's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So if we do that, we would divide three into 11. So three times three, that's nine. And then we'd have two left over, bring the three across, and this improper fraction, 11 thirds, that equals the mixed number, three and two thirds. But in answer to our original question, the fraction 11 thirds is already simplified. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.